Hello everyone! So in this video I thought I would show you a preview of my latest digital collection and my inspiration for this as I had shown a small preview of this collection in a previous video was from the illustrations or my collection of illustrations from fashion magazines dated back to the late 1800s and then what I did is of course I took and collaged them and colorized them and so forth so I finally have it done and I'm just excited to start working with this and I thought I would do a project using this collection after I show everything that comes in it. Now for a lot of you who have purchased my collections you know they're huge <laughs> and so this one is no different. This is a huge collection. It comes with 10 designer papers which is what I am showing right now and then five lined papers, five of the scans, just scans that came directly from my collection and I think, let's see, five, I call them card kit pages and you'll see why. And then five envelopes and then five sheets of ephemera. So again, it's a large collection. The other thing I was inspired by when I created this is I had some floral napkins and I just loved the, the vintage florals. So these are the 10 designer papers that you would get in the kit. And as you can see, all different colors to play with. And I just lately, I don't know, I, I love more of an eclectic uh, feel to everything I've been designing lately. I haven't really just stayed with one color theme or anything like that. And so, you know, again, I am really excited to just kind of dive in and start playing with this collection. So those are the 10 designer papers. And then there are five lined papers. And you'll see on some of these, they have the lined sections to them. So there's that one. And I printed these on different weights of paper so some of them have, you'll notice like this one I printed on 32 pound paper and it has more of a sheen to it than this which I just printed on standard copy paper. And the other thing is the laser, the color because it is a uh, because it has that sheen, the color is a little more vibrant. So when you're printing your digitals, if you print on a paper that has a little bit of a sheen to it, your color is going to be more vibrant as opposed to just the standard copy paper. So again, there's five lined papers just kind of what I called them. This is in with the lined papers as well, but it's more of a monthly. And so if you wanted to create a planner, you could just print out, you know, 12 of these and then you can customize them for each month of the year. So there's those five papers. And then these are the five illustration scans that came from my collection that I was talking about and I did go in and you know ran some filters made sure everything was as clear as I could possibly get it high resolution scans but I thought these would be really fun to incorporate in with the collection and in creating a journal and I did some ads just fun stuff to collage with I thought And it's just, oh, this book. I Again, I showed in a previous video the books that I owned that I paid, again, a pretty penny for these. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, the illustrations were just stunning. So I love how this one turned out. Okay, so there's five of those. So you'll get 
20 different papers in the collection. So you get, again, a huge amount of papers there. And then these are the envelopes. And on the ones that I'll have, uh, <laughs> these ones I printed out, I didn't want to waste them, but I did notice I forgot to change my seal. It's currently a Christmas one, so <laughs> I'll have to change that out. Uh, the one you'll receive, of course, won't have the Christmas one on there, but I love these envelopes because they're easy to just... You know, you cut them out and then you fold them and then you can attach them into your journal and you can have it fold out as a page to write on or as an envelope and then you just glue the sides and you have the flap here. If you want to hinge it this way or sew it down in your journal this way. So, and they're a nice size envelope as well. So there's that one. And again, I, I will be changing the seal. I thought I had done that, but right now it's got bells. <laughs> and there's this one. Okay, so there's the five envelopes that you'll receive in the kit. And then in the kit, again I called it the card kit, there will be five of these where you'll get a 8x8 sheet on the page and then it will have some ephemera on the sheet as well, but I already went ahead and cut that out. So here are the five 8x8 eight eight pages that come in the kit. And I tried to, you know, as far as what you might want to print them on, these I printed on cardstock. I'm not sure how I'm going to use these yet. But I did try to make it so that, you know, they would coordinate, of course, with whatever you might want to put with with it uh, as far as the papers go so everything would coordinate together. So there's the five eight by eight sheets. And then this is all of the ephemera that would come in the kit. So you'll get a lot and all different size items here. You've got some larger journal cards, larger tags, journal card. Just tried to make it so, you know, you had a lot to work with. So a lot of these are the journal cards. This actually came from a floral album that I purchased, again, from the late 1800s, early 19... I think this was late 1800s. If I'm not mistaken. And this all came from the floral album and I just added a few things is all I did. So I get all these pieces of ephemera and then the journal cards. Lots here. And 
And then I did some of the tags in different sizes, so they're a little smaller. So you get uh, you know, a larger sized one, and then medium, and a small. And then there's some of the paper dolls. of uh, floral cutouts. some tiny pieces of ephemera. So we got some tiny tags and little sentiments here. And some tickets. All sorts of ephemera. And then some of the smaller paper dolls. So as you can see, there's a lot that comes in this kit. You'll have plenty to work with. This is probably, everything that's in the kit is probably enough to do a couple journals with, I would say. And these I just used a one inch circle punch to punch those out. Alright, so there is the new digital collection, Fashion Bazaar. Again, I will have this listed, uh, the link to where you can purchase this. I also will have a newsletter coming out so you'll get the discount code. You'll get the coordinating freebies that go with this kit. And then, of course, the promo for the month. Okay. The other thing I wanted to show you is the new kit that my mom is coming out with and then we can do a fun project after I show you that. So this kit that my mom did is pretty amazing. So here is the kit and there is so much in this kit to cover here. Okay, so it's going to come with an ephemera kit in it, and then you'll have your designer papers, your fabrics, um, and some of the vintage papers in there. And then look at, oh, you'll get a beautiful cover and then more of the cardstock, and she includes a template for you as well. So I'm gonna start with this packet here. So you'll get a beautiful soft cover. Look how pretty. Isn't it pretty? And then she included a template. 
So it will show you if you want to create a three inch spine, she has the template there for that and where you'd want to mark your holes. And then if you wanted to do a one and a half inch spine, she shows that and one for a two inch spine. So she gives you three different options on the template you'd want to use in creating your journal. I will see if I can do a video, walk you all through that. And then it will come with some of these specialty papers. So this is kind of a fabric, stitched fabric paper here from Prima. So you'll get one of those. And then some different uh, specialty papers as far as decorative cardstock and flocked paper. Beautiful flocked paper in there. And these are all from Prima. Let's see. Let's see. Six pieces of cardstock and specialty paper, and then again your cover and template. So that's in the first packet there. And then in the second packet, you'll get another sheet of that stitched paper. Again, it's, it's kind of, you know, it kind of reminds me of craft text in a way. It is kind of what it feels like, but you'll get one of those. So another one, and then you'll get some fabric. And then just different pieces of vintage fabrics in here. And then you'll get some journaling paper and some music sheet paper. And then some paper sacks. You'll get some of the designer papers. And these have a lot of uh, floral Paris themed images. So you get some journal cards, more journal cards. I think this is from the collection Paris Rose. And then some of the envelopes and papers. Journal cards, some tags, with tickets, another envelope, so you'll get four, four of the designer papers. And then you'll get two envelopes. And then you're going to get one, two, three, four, five sheets of the journal cards and ephemera. And then she has in the coffee stained paper her vanilla vanilla coffee stained paper. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six sheets of coffee stained paper. 
And then in this last packet here, this is the ephemera pack that you'll get. Let's see, she's got some trim. Just different trims. And a package of vintage buttons. It's even got the, I mean, it's the vintage button card that comes with it. It's even got the, <laughs> the old price. This just shows you how old they were. Um, eleven cents. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the last time you paid eleven cents for this many buttons, but it's long time ago. So these are pretty old. And then she always has a thank you, a little thank you gift in there. And this one's filled with all these little different tags. And then all of these little cutouts. So you get this little butterfly and these tags. Some journal cards, game cards, more tags, some paper doilies. Library card, inventory layaway, alteration tags. Um, these are I'm not sure that it looks like they came from some sort of. I mean, most of the time these 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 are vintage um, books that she pulls this from. This stuff. So, some floral cards here. Receipts, airmail envelope, journal card, another postcard, journal card, all these journal cards, um, some lined papers, kind of tie in with that Paris theme, some old book pages. More journal cards, uh, embellished tag that she did. It's all stitched really nice. And then another large tag, time card, a stitched envelope. Another stitched envelope that she did from, you know, both of these were from some book book pages, floral illustration books, and then a die cut, some die cuts, a stitched pocket envelope. That looks like she coffee dyed. She probably coffee dyed and then stitched this. It's really nice. And then a paper bag. And then you'll get a little goodie bag filled with some pins and little doilies and some punch outs. Bling. And that is what comes in the ephemera pack. So a nice large kit here and uh, again if you're interested in these kits um, I will have the listing down below I tend to, I think I'll be doing a workshop with this kit so I will plan on doing some videos upcoming videos uh, on using this kit so there is the latest kits Latest collection, latest kit. <laughs> All right, so now let's have some fun making something fun with the new collection. Again, this 
I will have this kit listed where you can get it on my site. Um, I tell everyone the kits are limited. I never know when my mom's going to come out with another one and they tend to go quickly. So uh, for those of you who tend to hold out and then you contact me and ask if she's going to make more, in answer to this, you know, when she'll have a more kits. They're never the same, first of all. If if any of you have been following us, you know the kits are always different and she hardly ever will come out with the same of any kit. So if you're liking this kit, I would just try to get one if you're interested in, you know, having one of her kits. <laughs> Okay, so I have Pam's journal here and I contacted her to let her know that before I shipped it out I wanted to do one last video of it and do a project using some of the new collection which I'm going to implement in her journal and then ship it off to her. And because I have a little bit of room in here left, right here, this space that I'm going to fill up with another signature. I thought it would be perfect to use the new collection. So I thought that I would work on creating some simple signature pages here using the new kit. Just do some fun things with it. Okay, so again, I'll be working out of Pam's journal here and I'm just putting together a few things here from the kit just to give you an idea of how quickly you can put some signature pages together pretty easily using some of the ephemera and items from the new digital collection. So here I'm just adding in part of a vintage calendar, adding in some journal cards, ephemera, some of the, the floral ephemera, and you can see how easy it is to take and embellish or decorate your page. And then on the other side is one of the envelopes from the digital collection. So just to, you know, really quickly show you that. Now, the project that I'm going to be sharing with all of you is I thought I would create a whole complete signature page starting from beginning to end. And also creating these really cool perfume label tags, which I'm gonna show you here. Now, these are a freebie that'll come in the newsletter. So you can, if you're subscribed to the newsletter, you can get these as a freebie. And then I'll be using some of the stamps from the new Tim Holtz collection, the Flower Shop stamp set, and possibly some of these floral carabel stamps. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut out all three of the perfume tags there. And then I have some silver mirror board and I'll have a link down below where you can find the mirror board and then the three uh, cellophane bags there. And then I took a spellbinders embossing folder and I embossed the silver mirror board. Again, I'll list everything that I used down in the description below so you can find some of these materials that I'm using in creating these perfume pocket tags. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm cutting off the top of this one and then I'm going to cut out the inner section of the perfume bottle, leaving pretty much just like a frame of it because I wanted to create the illusion of, you know, it being a glass bottle using that cellophane bag there. And then I'm going to cut out the label section from the middle part of that tag. Okay, so after I cut that section out, I'm going to take my piece of embossed silver mirror board and just cut out sections of it that I'm going to attach to my perfume bottle. And so this um, specific embossing folder that I used, I might have a few left in stock. I'm not sure I'll have to see because I did use it in a previous project, but you could use any sort of embossing folder that has some sort of pattern to it. And then I'm just taking and distressing the edges of my perfume bottle with a worn lipstick. And then I'm going to glue just those edges down onto my cellophane bag. And again, just to kind of create the illusion of a glass bottle. 
And then I'm going to take that label middle section and glue that down, just trying to match it up to that outer section of the perfume bottle there. And then on these tags, I didn't show these, but these are part of the digital collection as well. So it was something that I ended up creating after the fact <laughs> and thought as I was creating these perfume bottles that I needed these tags to go inside and be able to have them work with the proportions of the perfume bottles. So I created these tags and they are part of the digital collection as well. And so you can see I'm cutting off that top piece there and I'm going to attach that to the tag and use that as kind of a pull tab for the tag. And it gives the illusion kind of as it all being one piece, one cohesive piece. And now I'm just simply going to add in some embellishments like ribbon uh, and the, of course, the embossed silver sections. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to incorporate these into the journal or not, but these would make really cute cards, really cute tags. Like you could put them on a larger tag and maybe insert a gift card or something. These just would be adorable for something like that. And again, they're super, super easy to, to make. So yeah, these were fun. And, uh, you know, the cellophane bags, I always try to think of ways to repurpose packaging. And a lot of times you'll end up getting those cellophane bags with items that you purchase. And I just have lately been trying to find ways of repurposing fabrics and trims, papers, packaging, and, and so forth. Uh, sometimes I just feel guilty throwing some of those things away. And so, yeah, it's kind of what inspired me to come up with this whole idea. And so now I'm just attaching some of the pink ribbon. Off to the side, you can see where I took a strip of the muslin, and I used the tiny text from the new Tim Holtz stamp set. And I think I do have a few more of these in stock and stamped that little strip of muslin there. And I'm just punching a hole through that smaller tag, going to attach some twine and then glue everything down together to put those final finishing touches on my tag. And then I'm also taking one of those ephemera pieces. And again, I punched this out with a one inch punch and going to, uh, attach that piece to that top section of my tag there. And you can add a rhinestone in the middle. I actually end up changing this out later as you'll see, but again, I like to kind of just show you different things that you can do just to give you different ideas. And then I'm taking one of the pages there that you see from the collection, and that was from one of my scans that I did from you know, the books that I purchase and collect and, and again, they're my treasures. And so I'm sharing them with, with all of you. And so I took one of those pages and that's what I'm using to create my signature with. And then I'm just finishing up the tag, adding a little bit of lace just to put those finishing touches on it. And then I will have my tag or at least my first perfume bottle all done and again I just I really like the way that these turned out love them and you could just make the cutest cards or tags or just adding some sort of decorative element to your journal pages whatever it might be if you do scrapbook pages you can incorporate this idea into so many of your projects Okay, so now I'm going to start building my signature page and what I'm doing is taking some lined paper and I'm going to cut that in half because I don't want to cover up my decorative page there. I want some of those ads and everything to show through. So that's why I cut it in half, but I wanted to make sure that again, 
you hear me say this all the time, that there's space to do journaling. So that's why I'm adding in some of those lined papers. And then of course you have the back of the tag that you can use for journaling space as well. And so to add some decorative element to my lined paper to make it so it's not just boring lined paper, I'm taking one of the stamps from the new Tim Holtz stamp set. Again, it's a flower shop and I stamp that onto my page using the archival ink in the watering can shade. And then I'm just taking one of the ephemera pieces, that pink ephemera piece there that says perfumes, and I'm going to create a little pocket with that and insert a couple journal cards inside just to give a little bit of a decorative element on the other side of my page. And then this is where I change out the top part of my perfume bottle because I'm using or I selected the, the ads paper there. I wanted it to coordinate better with that. So that's why I changed out the top of that. And then I just simply took and stapled those two pieces of lined paper to my paper that, you know, the ads designer paper there. Not quite sure how I want to say that, <laughs> but I think you know what I mean. At least you can see what I mean, hopefully. And then I'm just gluing down my ephemera piece there to create my pocket and going to insert my journal cards. And you can start to see our signature page coming together. And then I'm going to take another one of those ephemera pieces and add it to the top part of my lined paper there. And you can see just by simply adding a little bit of ephemera, doing a little bit of stamping, it just really adds those decorative elements to your signature pages in a very simple way. And now what I'm going to do is create a hinge for my perfume bottle tag. And so I'm just taking some of this crocheted lace and I'm cutting it a little ways up on each end and this is so when I attach my tag to it, it will flip over nice and easily. It won't be quite so stiff because I am using this type of lace that, you know, it's not really flexible. So to create that flexibility that I need with it, I'm just cutting a little slit on each end there. And so I glued down just that right half section of lace onto the right side of my journal page and then you can see on the other side of my lace the left side there is where I glued down my tag and now I have this hinge where my tag can flip back and forth and for those of you who have been watching my videos on how to make journal pages you know I love to have my pages where they're interactive and so I always try to incorporate something like that into my signature page. Now what I'm going to do is take a strip of muslin and stamp it with the tiny text that's Tim Holtz's latest stamp collection that he came out with and I think I still have a few of these left in stock. If not I'll be having more come in stock and I'll also have some available for pre-order once I run out. So. It's a wonderful stamp set, I have to say, because <laughs> there's so many times that I want to work with sentiments. As you can see, just adding sentiments here and there in your journal, it just adds so much. So, And I've been loving uh, working with muslin lately. It's just been so much fun using this fabric to stamp on. And I'll show you how to use it in another way here shortly. And as you can see, I'm just adding in some final touches with some scraps of trim. And then our signature page here is starting to all come to together. Now I'm just trying to find a place where I want to insert it in Pam's journal here. And I think I found a perfect section here of where I want to put it. Now, because I added that tag onto the printed paper that I did from the digital collection, the one of the ads there, because I did that on standard copy paper, 
I don't want it to be too flimsy, so I'm going to take some of the printed cardstock and attach that to the back of my signature there. So I used that purple damask pattern from the digital collection and printed that on cardstock and then glued it to the back of my signature page. And then I took one of the flower ephemera pieces there, the one of the tulip, and I glued it down onto muslin. And I loved the look of it. And it also makes it to where your ephemera is more durable. So you can see here where I'm taking one of the paper dolls and I'm going to distress her first and then glue her down onto that piece of muslin there and then cut an outline around the ephemera there and then pull some of the threads just to give it kind of that distressed edge there. And it kind of gives that shabby chic look that ties in with the whole theme that I have going on with this journal. And I, again, it was just something different and I loved the look of it. And so I wanted to share this with all of you as well. And then I'm just going to insert her in that flap. And as you can see, really easy way to decorate your signature page. And then I'm just taking one of the envelopes from the digital collection that I printed onto vellum. I'm going to glue the sides and add in some lined paper. And then I'm going to tuck that behind my lady there. And I actually, I might, you know, later on go back and stamp some of those lined papers, but just for this video, just to give you an idea, I just put in the lined papers from the pad, cut them to size and inserted them in the envelope. And then on the other side, I'm going to add more of the lined paper and I'm going to change out the lined paper that I'm showing there. I thought that I would use a stamp from the mail art Tim Holtz collection. Now on this mail art stamp set, I don't have any of these in stock and I'll have to check to see if I can still get them. And then I'm going to use one of the stamps from the new Tim Holtz collection from that flower shop stamp set and just stamp that below onto my lined paper there. And I love that stamp. It actually looks like somebody literally wrote on the lined paper. I, I just, it's probably one of my favorite stamps. And then I took some of the aquamarine archival ink and stamped one of the flowers onto the paper as well. And then I'm distressing my edges. And then just that finishing touch, I'm going to take one of my favorite stencils that I always use. It's the Splatters uh, texture stencil by Tim Holtz and just take some distress oxide in the vintage photo and stencil over that and call it good. Now what I'm going to do is I took a white paper sack, cut it in half, and so I'm going to apply glue to the bottom of the top half of my sack there just to create that pocket. And then I took a punch to punch that half circle onto the bottom section of my paper bag and I have a strip of muslin here that I'm going to put on the inside and then I stitched around it. I was just trying to add in a little bit of texture and more of a decorative element. And then I took one of the flower ephemera pieces and I glued it down onto muslin, cut around it, distressed it. And that's all I did to that piece of ephemera there. And then took that flower shop stamp and stamped the bottom section of my paper bag. I'm going to add some lace, distress it, and I will have another pocket for one of my journal pages. So again, just trying to give you ideas of how you can easily create pockets and uh, certain elements for your journal pages. And these are all super easy to do. And then I just decided to finish it off with one of the little journal cards there to kind of tie it in with that whole perfume theme that I've 
kind of have going on here. And I punched a hole in the top. I'm going to take a strip of that muslin and just tie that around it. And then I'm going to stamp over the top of it using that same stamp that you've been seeing me use from that flower shop stamp set. And it's just those little details that add so much to whatever it is you might be working on, whether it be a tag or uh, a paper bag, card, whatever it might be. And here's where you see me. I just stamp right over it. Again, this is just to give it a little bit of, of color of the ink onto the muslin. And then you can see here what it might look like inside of the journal. And then I flipped back to that other journal page and I'm going to attach that ephemera piece there or journal card and just create a little pocket with it and add in some tickets just to finish off this journal page here. And now I'm just taking one of the pages from the digital collection that I printed out just to show you how these pages all by themselves would look inside your journal. I mean, you just don't even have to do anything. And you can leave the back part white and leave that for journaling space. Or you could attach lined paper to the back of it. Here's another one where I'm just taking an envelope, adding in little bits of the ephemera. And again, you can see it's really easy to take the collection when you have it printed out and put a journal page together very easily. Okay, and so I'm going to finish up with those other two perfume bottle tags. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the first one and just cut out that inner middle section just so I have the frame part of the, you know, bottom part of the bottle there and attach it to the cellophane bag, cut out one of the tags from the digital collection. And this one, I had to cut the tag down a little bit because as you can see, when I put it inside the cellophane bag, it's just up a little too high. So I need to cut the bottom part of that tag just so it will sit inside the perfume bottle section better. So you can see where I cut off that bottom section of the tag. And then I'm just going to place everything and glue that bottle down onto the cellophane bag. I have my embossed silver mirror board already cut out. And I'm going to apply that as well. And then, like I said, it's basically the same as I did with the first bottle. Add in some ribbon. Here I'm using some tool for my bow and maybe some pearls just to give it, you know, those little bit of decorative touches. And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some music on. Since I've already made one of these and walked you all through it, I think you all get a really good idea of how you would create these and it doesn't require a lot of explaining. So I'm just going to turn on some music and then we'll be back to finish everything up.
so there is my video. I hope you all really enjoyed it. Please continue to leave comments and I love all your suggestions. Please keep those coming as well. So I know there's a lot of fear with the coronavirus going around, but not to downplay anything, just try and stay calm. And if you are uh, stuck indoors and you have nothing to do, uh, you know, what a better way than to do some art or something that you love to do just to kind of help take your mind off of everything so sending all my love and I'll be back with another video real soon